The Washington City Paper is a U.S. alternative weekly newspaper serving the Washington, D.C., metropolitan area. The City Paper is distributed on Thursdays, its average circulation in 2006 was 85,588. The paper's editorial mix is focused on local news and arts. Its 2018 circulation figure was 47,000. The Washington City Paper was started in 1981 by Russ Smith and Alan Hirsch, the owners of the Baltimore City Paper. For its first year it was called 1981. The name was changed to City Paper in January 1982 and in December 1982 Smith and Hirsch sold 80% of it to Chicago Reader Incorporated. In 1988, Chicago Reader Incorporated acquired the remaining 20% interest. In July 2007 both the Washington City Paper and the Chicago Reader were sold to the Tampa-based Creative Loafing chain. In 2012, Creative Loafing Atlanta and the Washington City Paper were sold to Southcom Communications. Amy Austin, the longtime general manager, was promoted to publisher in 2003. Michael Schaefer was named editor in April, 2010, two months after Eric Wemple resigned to run the new local startup TBD. On December 21, 2017, it was announced that DC area venture capitalist and philanthropist Mark Ein would buy the city paper. He became the first DC based owner in the paper's history. Ein announced the creation of two groups to ensure the paper's long term success Alumni Group and Friends of Washington City Paper. In 2011, Daniel Snyder, the owner of the Washington Redskins, filed a lawsuit against the city paper for the Cranky Redskins Fans Guide to Dan Snyder a November 19, 2010 cover story that portrayed him in a negative light. He and the Simon Wiesenthal Center claimed that the story used anti-Semitic tropes. Prominent sports journalists, Jewish groups, and Jewish writers published sharp criticism of Snyder and the Simon Wiesenthal Center's claims of anti-Semitism, referring in various opinion pieces and public statements to their statements as breathtakingly dumb allegation, almost unbearably stupid, and so self-evidently lacking in merit. The Washington City Paper issued its own response in a published editorial, saying, but we at City Paper take accusations of anti-Semitism. Seriously, in part because many of us are Jewish, including staffers who edited the story and designed the cover. So let us know. Mr. Snyder, when you want to fight the real anti-Semites. In response, hundreds of loyal readers donated over $30,000 to a legal defense fund. In September, 2011 the lawsuit was dropped, after, in December, 2010, Washington, D.C. passed anti-slap legislation, David Donovan, the Redskins' former chief operating officer and general counsel, that threatened an expensive legal battle unless Snyder received a retraction and an apology, while also Amy Austin, the publisher, had written in a February article that unauthorized switching of long-distance accounts by Snyder Communications and GTE Communications was not meant to be construed as, by Snyder himself, but people who worked for Snyder Communications and GTE Communications. Regular city paper features include, also published is one syndicated feature, an empty Washington City paper dispenser at Huntington Metro Station. Thanks for watching.